Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video updating you on how my uni life is going. I did film a video ages ago, my first ever uni video and that was, that was explaining my first week of uni um, in terms of freshers week and also the next week which was my first official week of uni. This video is going to be describing how my first semester of uni was. It's now January and I have had a whole semester, this is what you know we call it, first semester, so the first few months from September up to Christmas and I just want to explain my thoughts, my feelings, things that I've done, modules that I do and just anything and if you've got any questions then leave them down below in the comments or any video ideas you might want me to do. I have got a university playlist so I'll link down the video that I filmed a while back and then um, if you've got any other suggestions I will make them. Just to kind of start us off, it's probably good if you know exactly what I do. So I do accounting and finance at Lincoln University and the modules that are included in that is economics, organisational behaviour, analysis of business data and accounting. How did I forget? Um, that's what I'm doing, accounting, because I'm hoping to become an accountant in the future. So that is what I am doing. I'm going to talk through each module as well but I'm just going to kind of start off with general thoughts and feelings. My first semester went really really well, I really enjoy uni, it's definitely my favourite kind of part of my educational experience so far and what I mean by that is I much prefer it to A levels or GCSEs and the workload is a lot less for the first year of uni anyway. Um, you know, I can't speak for the second or third year because I'm sure there's more, but I think compared to A-levels, it is so much easier, so much better, and there's just a lot less work to do. I have lectures and seminars, and in my lectures, I will obviously turn up. I think I have eight lectures a week, so eight hours of lectures a week. They're about 50 minutes long, and you go in a lecture hall, there's about kind of 250 to 500 people in there, depending on what module it is, and the lecturer will just kind of talk through everything, and I will make notes on that in my little notepad, or you can make notes on your laptop, whatever you want to do. And then if you ever miss a lecture, or if you kind of miss information in a lecture, the PowerPoint for that lecture is then on the website for Lincoln Uni and I can access that and I can go through that and I can go through the PowerPoint and that's really really good and that's also great for revision purposes as well. So that's lectures and then I have four hours of seminars a week. A seminar comes after a lecture so you'll have a lecture on something and then the seminar after that will be kind of helping you through or doing activities based on the information in that lecture so they're a little bit more hands-on there's less people in there a lot less there's about 20 people kind of 15 to 20 people in a seminar and it's just a lot more kind of condensed down any group work that you do or group assessments are done within that seminar time and obviously you have to meet up afterwards in terms of tests and assessments I've had two tests so far. I had a test for economics and a test for analysis of business data. I got approximately 80% in both of those which is equivalent to a first so I'm very very happy with those and I have got two tests coming up in, four de in three days um, from now. Two more tests for those subjects. Each of those tests are worth 12.5% of my grade for this year so I've done two. I've got two on Monday um, in a few days time from me filming this video, but when this video goes up, I would have already done them. So let's just hope I did well. Let is just hope I did well. And then I've done two group assessments. I did a group assessment with my organisational behaviour group where we worked together, and in the end we had to give a group presentation based on a number of different factors to do with the module. I won't go through, you know, module specifics unless people request specific videos on specific modules, which if they do, then that's what I will make. I've also done some group work with analysis of business data where we, in my seminar group, where we had to put together a group portfolio of loads of different data things that we were doing. We were doing like regression, stuff to do with correlation. If you've done A-level maths, you'll understand all of this. But it was, in my opinion, quite tricky because we're dealing with um, software like SPSS and Excel and especially SPSF, I am SPSS, I've not used that before and I just struggle with that sort of stuff. So some of it was quite difficult and 
you know, I'm so glad I was in a group because then they could help me and my group did help me a lot. So thank God to them. Okay, and then I also had an assignment to do for accounting, which was a thousand word essay, a fi another 500 word essay, and you had to produce loads of different kind of financial statements to do with my transactions. So T accounts, like balance sheets, things like that. You, do you know what I mean? Like um, statements of financial positions, that kind of thing, just all in one. That was massive. Like that was my most difficult thing I've done so far at uni. I did struggle with that a little bit, um, but we got through it. I've handed it in. It's okay. I tried my best. If I've done awful, at least I tried. At least I tried. That's that done. Thank heavens. Um, like I said, I've got two tests coming up soon and then nothing as far as I'm aware for a little while. But you've got plenty of time to revise for these tests and things like that so it's not like you're put under a lot of pressure if you work from the beginning then there's not too much pressure applied to you unless you don't understand something so i'm now going to go into each module i'm not going to talk about it too much but i'm going to talk about the books that i've got for them i did actually purchase all these books together and they were like 140 pounds for all of these but they are extremely helpful and hopefully will help me pass you know, uni, whatever, get a degree, I don't know. But yeah, got those books. I'm gonna go through those individually. But before I sort of get into that, overall, uni is really, really good. I've met loads of friends at uni. I've met some really good people and I just can't believe like how confident I have been. Obviously, when I was younger, I had selective mutism and I never thought that I would be this confident. I never thought I would have the ability to even go to uni, let alone be able to just interact with absolutely anybody. There's so many social activities that I involve myself with, you know, even just going on nights out, you've got to interact with so many different people and I'm fine with that. So I'm proud of myself for that, I'm very proud. I've made some good friends. I um, met my boyfriend there, Tom, you've seen him. He's been on my channel, we did a and a If you wanna see that, I will link that down below as well. But yeah, he's gonna be on my channel a lot more, don't worry. But if you want to go and subscribe to him, then I'll leave his channel link down below because he has a channel as well. He's only just made it though, so that's why he doesn't have many subscribers. But yeah, it's really, really good. My whole uni experience so far is amazing. Would highly recommend it. I think even paying just for the experience is 100% worth it. Even if you don't come out with a good degree, I don't know, but I'm hoping to, but it's definitely worth the experience. So I'm gonna go through these books very, very quickly. The first one I have is for economics, which is what, which is this one here. And I've got, you know, I've really got to kind of read this and focus on this and go through this. It's quite a hefty book, but yeah, this is the book and my lecturer on the front. He is my lecturer for economics. There he is, his little face. Bless him. He's called David Gray. I'm sure I'm allowed to say that. I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, this is the economics book. And then also he has written his own book. So my lecturer wrote his own book and it's this one. It's the financial update for 2018 slash 2019. And again, he's just there. Um, this is a lifesaver. I am reading this currently at the minute for my test on Monday. This is so, so helpful. I would recommend getting the books because there's only so much information a PowerPoint can, you know, give you and that the lecturers can give you in a book. It just explains it so much more. So I would recommend the books. Whatever course you're doing, obviously, you'll be doing something different to me. Then this is it says quantitative methods for business, but this is effectively analysis of business data. So this is the math side of thing, which I kind of prefer because my brain, you know, goes to maths more than it does anything else. But it is quite difficult. Some of the stuff that we are doing in analysis of business data is quite difficult. And I can appreciate that if anyone's not done A-level maths and they're doing this, they're going to really, really, really struggle. So I feel sorry for you if you haven't done A-level maths and you're doing this. And then the final book I've got is for accounting. This is the business accounting book. And yeah, it's quite a big book if I'm absolutely 100% honest. It is a massive book. So I've got some great reading to be doing here and it's got worked examples, questions in there, questions and answers so you can test yourself, that kind of thing. So I think the books are 100% worth the money because they've got so much useful things in them. So yeah, these are the books. Um, overall, semester one of uni has been 
really really good very positive and not too difficult kind of settling us in semester two might be very different and i'm sure year two and year three are very very different but i will continue to i will continue to post these videos and uni updates and everything like that i don't think there's anything else um that i need to state but i'm doing fine i'm doing okay i'm keeping up with the work but in january i am going to be on it absolutely on it when it comes to uni videos so if you've got any requests for any videos or anything like that or you've got any questions leave them down below in the comments and i will read through them and look at them and yeah that is it so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel for more content and i will see you in my next video goodbye